Hey everybody, welcome to It's All About The Cocktail. You can call me Ray. So I know it's been a little bit of time since I put a video out. I, I appreciate the people saying that you weren't worried about me and you're wondering if I need medical issues or anything. I'll give you more of that. I'll give you more of an update on that towards the end. But what I really want to do is I really want to get into my whiskey haul. So let me, let me show you what I got, okay? Okay, so one of the first ones that I got was I got me, I'm liking the Slane a lot. The Slane is a relatively inexpensive whiskey and it's very comparable, to, a, little bit, a little bit higher than the price of Jameson. I'm really liking, I'm really liking the Slane. Triple distilled, three separate, three separate barrels gives you three separate tastes. So the Slane was one that I got. Also, I got the Sexton. Sexton has a nice, nice flavor to it, okay? Relatively like that, relatively inexpensive, like uh, 26 bucks, something like that. Got the little skeleton guy on the top there. But the suction is very good. So this is a cool bottle to have on your shelf. Nice uh, six-sided bottle. Looks very good on your shelf. It's very good. I recommend the suction. But well, when I get done with all these, if there's something you want to see, let me know. Because then I'll give you an in-depth review of it. So one of the ones that I got, and I kind of liked it, and I drank and had to get another, another one. So I got the Roland Company. Now the Roland Company was about mm, 32 bucks. And I got another bottle of that. Now I got a bottle. This was relatively, again, inexpensive. Shanky's Whip. Okay. Shanky's Whip. It's it kind of, some people love it. I mean, I, I think it's very good. It's because like, it's kind of like a, a creamy made with cream and vanilla. So it's got a, a vanilla taste to it. Vanilla, kind of cream vanilla taste to it. They say it's really good in coffee. I'm going to check that out. So Shanky's Whip. It's got this guy riding a big chicken on like a chariot. I don't know if you can quite get that. It's a, but pretty cool. I like what's got a t-shirt like that. So then, of course, I had to go back and give me the Powers Gold Label. Powers Gold Label is good. It's good stuff. I really dig this. It's good, it's good Irish whiskey. I had to go back and get another bottle of the Bushmills Red Bush. Now the reason I wanted to get get another bottle of Red Bush is I want to refill my my little thing for my taster because I like taking people through like a, a little flight, you know, so they can kind of compare. So they kind of try the try the old Bushmills and then they try the the Red Bush and they try the Black Bush. Red Bush. My wife really likes that. Now, I had, I had the bottle of the Jameson, the uh, Castmates. I had a bottle of the Jameson Castmates IPA. Now, I like IPAs a lot. My wife, she not so quite so much on IPAs. She likes the stout version. I had to get her to go back and get the stout version. I like it. She really loves it, so I had to get her bottle. Okay. Then, this is technically not whiskey. This is poutine. This is... Irish Moonshine, the Glenlock Poteen. This is Irish Moonshine. I had a, uh, my sister-in-law's aunt, she had a really, really mean Irish book. She was just talking about, the, oh no, stay away from that stuff, it'll make you go blind. I kept wanting to get her to say that uh, thing. So then I had to get another bottle. I found, uh, close to me, I found a bottle of Writer's Tears at a good price. Writer's Tears is Copper Pot. This is very good. Try this and you will like this. So, one of the ones that my wife got me, I'm really digging a lot, is this Teeling Whiskey Small Batch. I mean, this is for, this is their entry whiskey. And this, it's pretty kick ass. It's, it's, and it came in this little gold tin, which, which is pretty cool. It comes in this little gold tin with this Teeling Small batch. I really like the taste of this. What else we got? Um, now, doing all the Irish, I had to give you another bottle of Drum Shambo Gunpowder Irish Gin. This stuff is over the top. This stuff is this stuff is so excellent. I went through like a couple bottles of this stuff before I could review it. Now this, this one I'm gonna have to review it this time before I, before it goes dry. So the Drum Shambo Irish Gin. I went out for St. Patrick's Day and I got myself a bottle of McConnell's Irish Whiskey. 
And this got a really cool backstory. So I'll have to review this. It's only about it. It's a really cool backstory. I came home from St. Patrick's Day. And my wife gives me a bag with two cool Irish t-shirts in there. And this really cool skull uh, smoker for a single glass. And I, oh, God, thanks. I felt so bad. I'm like, you know, I got, oh, I, I got you something too. She goes, yeah, I had to give her, I gave her, gave her the whiskey. Here, I got you the, so you got me Irish whiskey? Yeah, but she likes it. She likes it a lot. So she's like, stay away from my whiskey. Those are my Irish that I bought. We're, I'm kind of getting into rise, you know? So I got I got a few different rides, okay? So the, the Basil Hayden makes a really, really good dark rye. The Basil Hayden dark rye, this stuff is really good. So then I got the Michter's. The Michter's straight rye. The Michter's straight rye. Well, let's try that, baby. I don't know. It looks like you're going to try that. Okay. Then I got another one of Woodford Reserve because it came with the glasses and and I had to get a matching Glencairn glass. It's a Glencairn old fashioned one. It's really cool. I got me a couple of Canadians. This is this is a this is Mercer Prince, and I'll explain this to you. Um, this is by ASAP Rocky. It's Canadian rye. It was aged in, in barrels in a storage container in the middle of the forest in Canada. How cool is that? But the the cool part of this is besides the great taste and, and all the it's got these two integrated, these two integrated cup. There's one on the bottom. I'm thinking that one off, but these two integrated. This fits in there pretty neat too. And the bottle's like an art piece, okay? They say you put it on the side, put whatever you want. But they say also because it's got two integrated cups, you can enjoy a, you can enjoy a glass with somebody wherever you are. Okay, I happen to have glasses, but okay, it's a cool idea. I like to taste that. It's also it's done in the Mizunara cask the japanese mizunara cast and that stuff any of the stuff that i have the mizunara cast is really good so and i got me another canadian this is up and coming, I'm up and coming canadian called bareface now bareface i tasted when i went to the gun lock tasting it's aged seven years it's got these really cool scratches on the front and you know, like a like a bear scratching it the still house spice cherry still 69 percent not just like it uh a sweet whiskey so but the thing that i like about this is i like now i like my when i do my old fashions i mean you get your, your orange and your orange pea peel in there and your cherry and i bought a landing glass i don't like a big fruit sand on my glass so i like to this duplicates my cherry and a lot of when i'm when i'm in a hurry and i just want to make a quick old fashioned i put a little bit of orange carousel in there and they put this as, as a cherry. Oh, I like it. So this, this is pretty cool. So, do me a favor. Let me know if there's any of these you really want. Let me know what you want me to review first. And I will do a review for you. And I'll do an endeavor review. And we'll check it out together. If you don't know me, I had some major foot surgery. And I had some problems sleeping. And now, after all this, when I come out, when I come out on the other end, and I have some really bad headaches. And I can't do anything. If I work all day, I can't do anything after that but lay on the couch. But if I do something to get rid of the headaches, then I can't, then I have motivation. I can't work. I can't get nothing done. Hopefully I get the headaches under control. I start putting out more content. But what I'm asking of you is just keep supporting me. Just keep Keep watching, keep watching the videos, keep liking and keep, you know, sending back comments. Hey. So, once again, I'm Ray, this is all about the cocktail, and I'll be talking to you just on time for the next round. See you later.